with battery day right around the corner, we can safely assume Tesla already has its new battery technology ready. But Elon may have underpromised when he introduced the new million mile battery. I'll tell you why it is way better than what you think. Let's dive into it. You're watching On Forward. In recent news reports, CATL, which is Tesla's battery supplier in China, claimed it is ready to produce the new million mile battery, which is supposed to be first introduced in the Model 3s manufactured in China. In fact, this new battery would last 1.24 million miles, according to them. Also, CATL chairman Sen Yukun confirmed that he is in constant communication with Tesla and Elon Musk directly. He said, quote, CATL is strengthening its relationship with Tesla with matters such as cobalt-free batteries on their agenda. But this is not the only ally Tesla has. Tesla's battery research partner Jeff Don and his team also published a paper where they detail a battery that could last between 5,000 and 6,000 cycles. To put that in perspective, we have to multiply that by the range of the car. As always, let's use the Long Range Model 3, which has 322 miles. That gives us a 1.6 million mile battery. The average American drives 16,500 miles a year. It may sound crazy, but at that rate, the battery would last almost 100 years. Don't forget, Tesla has also acquired Maxwell Technologies to use their dry battery electrode breakthrough to further improve on production speed, costs, and energy density. As we can see, it isn't clear how all these parts will fit together. In my opinion, CATL has developed their own technology and will supply Tesla its batteries just for the Model 3 and Model Y made in China. On the other hand, I think Tesla, in collaboration with Jeff Don, has developed a new battery which will make use of Maxwell's dry battery electrode technology and they will use it for vehicles produced in the US and will include it in their new lineup of cars. But at the end of the day, there are lots of unknowns really, and all we can do for now is speculate about this. We will get a lot more details on battery day, and of course, as soon as it takes place, I'll make a video about it. So consider subscribing to get notified when I release it. What we do know is that Tesla has started volume production of the Tesla Semi. We know this from a leaked email from Elon Musk, but more importantly, if the Tesla Semi has started volume production, this means the million mile battery has also started being produced massively, as they will need lots of cells for the Tesla Semi. Remember it has 5 to 10 times more capacity than the Model S. And I know 1.6 million miles for one single battery pack seems crazy, but in my opinion, crazy would be not to use these spare cycles for other purposes. This opens up a lot of possibilities for Tesla. For example, they could enable vehicle to grid on their cars, because one of the main concerns for not doing so was battery degradation. If you're interested in this topic, go watch my recent video about it when you finish this one. Another use case enabled by this technology is commercial vehicles such as delivery vans, as the intense usage would not be a problem for this new battery technology. So this opens up possibilities for Tesla to compete on other markets and maybe even create new vehicles. And talking about vehicles that drive all day long, this would also enable the hardware for the Tesla fleet of Robo taxis, providing full self-driving comes out. Which of these use cases are you most excited about? Tell me in the comments! I am very excited to see how this new technology enables lots of different possibilities, and I really can't wait for battery day. And that was all for today, I hope you liked this video. Here you have two more that you may be interested in. See you soon!